What up, y'all? It's Mr. Downtown Ray Molly. You're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Orlando for Friday, July 14th, 2023. Delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at the Enter Report or on Instagram at the Entertainer Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the Entertainer Report, and it'll take you to the page. The National Board of Directors of Hollywood's Actors Union voted Thursday to go on strike after they failed to reach an agreement with studios over pay and other issues. The strike to start at midnight put some 160,000 members of the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists off the job, joining Writers Guild of America members who have been on strike for about two months over similar issues. The cast of Oppenheimer promptly left the movie's premiere in London after Thursday's vote. SAG after President Fran Drescher and National Executive Director Duncan Crabtree Ireland announced the decision to strike with picketing to begin Friday. At a press conference, they said they'd hoped to avoid a strike, but the deal offered by the AMPTP made it necessary. Drescher said, we are being victimized by a very greedy entity. How they plead poverty, that they are losing money left and right when given hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs, it is disgusting. Dresher continued, shame on, shame on them. They stand on the wrong side of history at this very moment. The AMPTP said in a press release that the union rejected a groundbreaking AI proposal. Crabtree Ireland said that the proposal still gave corporations too much ownership of individual actors' likenesses. Crabtree Ireland said they proposed that our background performers should be able to be scanned, get paid for one day's pay, and their company should own that scan, their image, their likeness, and to be able to use it for the rest of eternity in any project they want to with no consent and or compensation. Crabtree Ireland said another sticking point was the AMPTP's refusal to increase minimum payments to compensate for inflation adding that inflation will only wind the gap by the expiration of the proposed contract in 2026. Crabtree Island said, We believe that our members should not be working in 2023 for less money in real dollars than they made in 2020. We certainly believe that our members should not be working at the end of the term of this contract in 2026 for less money than they made in real dollars in 2020. As for the anticipated duration of the strike, Drescher and Crabtree Ireland indicated that they would return to talks as soon as the AMPTP wants to have good faith discussions. Drescher said, we're open to talking to them tonight. Crabtree Ireland expects a long strike. Drescher and Crabtree Ireland acknowledged the effect the strike would have for other businesses in the Los Angeles economy, as companies who serve Hollywood productions will lose work. But they said if they didn't put their foot down, the economy would only get worse for all businesses as corporations continue to squeeze workers. Crabtree Ireland said when an employer, especially these big multinational corporations, want to take advantage of you, want to use their power to squash you under their heel, it is your right and obligation to stand up for them. The union's contracts expired late Wednesday, and the organization's negotiating committee voted unanimously to recommend the strike against the Alliance of Motion Picture Television Producers. The work stoppage will affect Amazon, Apple, Disney, NBC Universal, Netflix, Paramount, Sony, Warner Bros. Discovery, and other studios and networks. The AMPTP said in a statement, This is the union's choice, not ours. In doing so, it has dismissed our our offer of historic pay and residual increase, substantially higher cap on pensions and health contributions, audition protections, shortened series option periods, a groundbreaking AI proposal that protects actors' digital likenesses, and more. SAG-AFTRA has put us on a course that will deepen the financial hardships for thousands who depend on the industry for their livelihoods. A federal mediation and consultation service representative took part in the negotiation in its final hours to no avail. The strike is the first for the union since 1980. As a result, scripted TV and film productions employing union members will shut down around the world. SAG-AFTRA has said it's demanding economic fairness, residuals, regulating the use of artificial intelligence, and alleviating the burdens of the industry-wide shift to shelf tape. The use of artificial intelligence is a top concern for performers. 
The union has said, artificial intelligence has already proven to be a real and immediate threat to the work of our members and can mimic members' voices, likeliness, and performance. The Writers Guild of America has been on strike for about two months over the same issues. This will be the first time both humans simultaneously stop work since 1960. IFC Films and Shudder released a trailer for Birth, Rebirth on Thursday. The horror movie opens in theaters August 18th. Rose, played by Marion Ireland, is a pathologist experimenting with reanimating the dead. Celia, played by Judy Reyes, is a nurse at Rose's hospital who discovers Rose experimenting on Celia's daughter, Layla, played by A.J. Lister, after an illness. UPI reviewed Birth, Rebirth at the Sundance Film Festival in January. The film presented a modern-day Frankenstein scenario, forcing Seeley to do disturbing things to cover for Rose. The trailer also includes positive quotes from The Verge, Dread Central, and The Huffington Post. Laura Moss wrote and directed Birth, Rebirth. Shudder has not announced a date for the film's premiere on its streaming service. Universal Pictures released clips for the opening of Oppenheimer on Thursday. The film opens in theaters July 21st. The footage begins in black and white as Louis Strauss, played by Robert Downey Jr., arrives at a meeting with J. Robert Oppenheimer, played by Cillian Murphy, and his team. Strauss reports that the Soviets have tested an atomic weapon. The clip flashes back to color footage of Leslie Groves Jr., played by Matt Damon, building the town of Los, Am Los Alamos so the Manhattan Project scientists can live there with their families. Three minutes in, Strauss raises the question of espionage at Los Alamos, which Oppenheimer refutes. At Los Alamos, Oppenheimer reveals to Groves that there is a chance the device cannot be stopped once it's launched. Footage also includes team members crackling under the isolation and trying to leave Los Alamos. Oppenheimer supports keeps them confined. The film's editor, Jennifer Lame, edited a new clip featuring Ludwig Goranson's score. The footage is all presented in the widescreen ratio, but IMAX print will uh, expand. Focus Features released a poster of My, back, my Big Fat Greek Wedding uh, on Thursday. The poster uh, pays homage to the original poster, which features Nina Vardalos in her wedding dress and John Corbett as her groom on the right side. Her extended family, Greek family, cluttered together on the left. Now that the characters are happily married, Vardalos and Corbett stand at their family reunion in Greece. Eight family members stand in pairs on the left. Uh, Vardalos wrote and directed My Big Fat Greek Wedding 3. She wrote all three films and previously directed I Hate Valentine's Day. Rita Wilson, Tom Hanks, and Gary Gozman produced again. Cast members Elena Campoporis, Gina Carides, Joy Fatone, Louis Mandelaire with Lainey Kazan and Andrea Martin return. Michael Constantine, who played the father in the first two films, died in 2021. The 2002 film became an indie phenomenon. A short-lived uh, TV series, My Big Fat Greek Life, reunited the cast except for Colbert. Colbert re returned for My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2 in 2016. Focus Features released a trailer for the sequel in May. Netflix is teasing The Lincoln Lawyer Season 2 Part 2. The streaming service shared a trailer for the new episode Thursday featuring Manuel Garcia Ruffo. The Lincoln Lawyer is based on the Michael Conley book series. The TV series is created by David E. Kelly, who created The Practice and follows Mickey Haller, played by Garcia Ruffo, a Los Angeles defense attorney and former addict. Nev Campbell co-stars as Mickey's first wife, Maggie, with Becky Newton as Mickey's second wife, Norna. Jazz Rachel as Mickey's driver Izzy and Angus Sampson as Mickey's investigator Cisco. Uh, season two features Lana Perilla as Lisa, new client and love interest of Mickey's. The trailer shows Mickey leave the hospital after being brutally attacked at the end of season two, part one. Mickey returns to court but risks sacrificing everything for his job. Season two, part two premieres August third on Netflix. The season is based on The Fifth Witness, the fourth book in the Lincoln Lawyer book series. Sister Wives will return for an 18th season in August. TLC shared a premiere date August 20th and a trailer for the season Thursday. Sister Wives is a reality series following Cody Brown and his polygamous family. 
Season 18 opens with Cody having divorced his third wife, Christine Brown, and struggling in his relationships with his first wife, Mary Brown, and second wife, Janelle Brown. Meanwhile, fourth wife, Robin Brown, remains with Cody, but mourns the breakdown of their family. The official synopsis reads, in the coming seasons, Cody is still grappling with the fallout from his divorce from Christine, and he is struggling in many of his other relationships. Christine, however, is learning to love who she is on her own by planning trips and celebrations along the way. Robin is the only wife secured in her marriage, yet devastated that her original dream of a big, happy, polygamous family is falling apart. Mary is steadily coming to realize that Cody isn't going to have the change of heart she has been waiting for and makes a life-changing decision. Lastly, Co uh, Cody has been spending less and less time at Janelle's house, and after an explosive fight, she kicks him out. The trailer shows Cody embrace his inner de uh, devil amid his conflict with Mary, Janelle, and Christine. Uh, he says, I worked out so hard to do what's right, and when you lose that, well, I should just be the devil I think I am now. Cody and Christine split in November 2021 after 25 years together. Janelle and Mary both confirmed their separation from Cody in December 2022. Sister Wives Season 18 premieres August 20th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TLC. CBS released a trailer for Big Brother 25th Anniversary Special on Thursday. The hour-long special airs July 26 at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Ahead of the 25th season, Big Brother host Julie Chen Moonves uh, looks back at the past 24. House guests Cody Califori, Taylor Hale, Derek Levisior, Jordan Lloyd, Xavier Prather, and Rachel Riley, Aza Assam, Hannah Chalda, Derek Frazier, Frankie Grande, Tiffany Mitchell, Janelle Perzina, Daniel Reyes, Kisar Rida, Jeff Schroeder, and Brendan Vigelis also are featured. The trailer highlights the three marriages proposals that, occur that occurred in the house on reunion specials. Rachel Riley expressed regret over a fight with Reagan Fox and now confirmed that they are friends. Big Brother puts contestants in a house together with hidden cameras competing in elimination competitions. Entertainment Tonight produced the reunion special, Nichelle Turner hosts. Big Brother Season 25 premieres August 2nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Both the special and the series are also streaming on Paramount+. Plus. New episodes of Star Wars Young Jedi Adventures are coming to Disney Plus in August. Disney Plus announced six new episodes of the animated series in a press release Thursday. The new episodes will premiere August 2nd on Disney Plus and Disney Junior, with more episodes to follow later this year. Season 1 will consist of 25 episodes total. Young Jedi Adventures takes place in the Star Wars universe during the High Republic era. The series follows Kai, Bright Star, uh, Lin Soleil, Noobs, and other Jedi younglings as they study the ways of the Force and learn valuable skills needed to become Jedi. The show's first seven episodes were released in May. Uh, executive producer James Waugh saying, said in a statement, We've been thrilled to see a whole new generation fall in love with the Star Wars galaxy through young Jedi adventures. We hope to continue delighting younglings. Jedi, Padawans, and the fans of all ages who have declared themselves Noobs Nation with their new episodes. The voice cast includes Jamil Avery Jr. as Kai, Juliet Donafeld as Liss, D. Bradley Baker as Nubs, Emma Berman as Pilot Nash Durango, Petior Michael as Jedi Master Yoda, and Asim Perdrad as Jet Master Zena Zana. Disney Plus released a trailer for another Star Wars series, Ashoka, starring Rosario Dawson on Tuesday. The show is a Mandalorian spinoff that premieres August 23rd. Disney Plus is giving a glimpse of High School Musical, the musical of the series, season 4. The streaming service shared a trailer for the show's fourth and final season Wednesday. High School Musical, the musical of the series, is a reboot of the High School Musical films. The TV series follows a new group of theater-loving students at East High School. Season 4 will see original High School mus mu Musical stars Corbin Bleu, uh, Monique Coleman, and Lucas Grabeel return to East High to film High School Musical for the reunion. Meanwhile, the students at East High, now in their senior year, struggled to stage a production of High School Musical 3 the senior year, with the movie disrupting their preparations. Joshua Bassett, Sophia Wiley, Dara Renee, Julia Lester, Frankie Rodriguez, Kate Renders, and Lamani Starr. Disney Plus announced in June that Season 4 will be the show's last. High School Musical the Musical, the series Season 4 premieres August 9th. Netflix is teasing The Witcher Season 3 Volume 2. 
The streaming service shared a trailer for the new episode Thursday featuring Henry Cavill, Freya Allen, and Anya Charlotta. The Witcher is based on the Andres Bukowski fantasy book series, which was previously adapted as a series of video games. The show follows Geralta Rivia, played by Cavill, a monster hunter known as a Witcher. Season 3, Volume 2 will consist of three episodes and Mark Cavill's final episodes as Geralt. News broke in October 2022 that Liam Hemsworth will replace Cavill as the star of The Witcher in Season 4. The new trailer shows Garolt stand unite with the Princess Sh uh, Ciri, played by Alan, and the sorceress Jennifer, played by Charlotta, as they take on new battles. The teaser ends on an anonymous note for Garolt, who is seen floating lifeless and bloodied in the water. Iman Farron, Joy Bitley, Myanna Burling, Mimi M. Kagaija, and Anna Schaefer also star. Season 3, Volume 2, premieres July 27th on Netflix. A haunted house inspired by the sci-fi horror series Stranger Things is being set up at th this September at the Universal Resort Stu Orlando and Universal Studios Hollywood. The Halloween Horror Nights attraction, which will run through November 4th, will focus on Vikna, the supernatural villain Jaime Campbell Bauer played in Season 4 of the iconic Netflix show. Uh, Vikna was last seen terrorizing the citizens of 1980s Hawkins, Indiana, when he tried to destroy the barrier between the upside-down dimension and the real world. Uh, John Murdy, the executive producer of Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood, said in a statement Thursday, From the opening shot of Stranger Things 4, Episode 1, we knew this was meant to be an experience at Hollywood's Hall Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, Laurie Salls, the assistant director of creative development and show direction at Univer Universal Orlando Resort, added, we're excited for our fans to live Vicna's curse as we create the iconic and terrifying moments from the show. Stranger Things premiered in 2016 with the cast led by Winona Ryder and David Harbour. The show's fifth and, final, and final season is expected to stream in 2024. Super Mario and TV personality Carly Kloss has given birth to her second child with her husband, financier Joshua Kirshner. Kirshner posted a photo of their sleeping newborn who is wearing a tiny blue hat on his Instagram page Thursday. He wrote, Welcome, with earth and heart emojis alongside the child's birthday, July 11, 2023. Kirshner did not offer any other details about the baby. Oscar winning actress, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and technology giant Mark Zuckerberg responded to the news with heart emojis, while Kate Hudson echoed Kirshner, welcome. Klaus and Kirshner have been uh, married since 2018. They also have a three-year-old son named Lev Levy. The couple announced Klaus's second pregnancy in May at the Met Gala in New York City. Klaus, who was sported a noticeable baby bump, told that today shows Chanel Jones on the red carpet. This is the first time I'm sharing the news, so it's so special. I couldn't imagine a more special place. Kirshner's brother Jared is married to Ivanka Trump, daughter of former President Donald Trump. He and his wife serve as senior advisors during Trump's presidency. Lisa Marie Presley, the only child of Elvis Presley, died in January due to a small bowel obstruction, the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's Office said. The report released Thursday states that the small bowel obstruction was caused by scar tissue that developed following um, batarac surgery that was performed years prior. The report states the manner of death is natural. Presley, who was 54, died January 12th at a local hospital where she was rushed after being found unresponsive earlier in the day at her Calabasas home. The medical examiner's report states that she was pronounced dead at 5.08 p.m. and that an unidentified ex-husband was uh, who had found her and who had called the paramedics as seen was there. It added that though Presley had a history of drug use, she had been sober for the past few years and that toxicology results showed therapeutic levels of oxycodone and other medications in her system at the time of her death. The report adds that she had for months complained of abdominal pains, vomiting, nausea, and fevers, but did not have the same issues medically mm -hmm. examined. Uh, Presley, the daughter of Elvis and Priscilla Presley, uh, was buried with her late father and her only son, Benjamin Cuff, at the family's famous Graceland Estate in Tennessee. 
Singer-songwriter Demi Lovato released a new version of her 2017 hit, Sorry Not Sorry, on Thursday. The updated track features Guns N' Roses and Velvet Revolver guitarist Slash. Lovato posted a clip of the song on Twitter. The full version of it, which contains ex expletives, may be viewed on YouTube. Lovato also recently released a rock version of her 2015 uh, anthem, Cool for the Summer. Her most recent album, Holy Fuck, was released in August. And finally, here are the top 10 songs on the Billboard Hot 100 single charts for the week of July 15th. Number 10, Tussie with Favorite Song. Number 9, Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice with Karma. Number 8, Gunna with uh, Fuck You Mean. Number 7, Taylor Swift with Cruel Summer. Number 6, Lil Dirk featuring J. Cole with All My Life. Number 5, Miley Cyrus with Flowers. Number 4, Rema and Selena Gomez with Calm Down. Number three, Luke Combs with Fast Car. Number two, Morgan Wallen with Last Night. And the number one song on the Billboard Hot 100 single charts for the week of July 15th, Olivia Rodrigo with Vampire. And that is your entertainment report for Friday, July 14th, 2023. I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back on Monday to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the entertainment report with Ray Mello. That's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O. On Twitter at The Enter Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for The Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Everyone have a great weekend. Good night and God bless you all.